My great-grandfather worked at Mary Mac Mine. Um, my grandmother grew up down the street. Um, she lived in a house where Mellow Mushroom is now. She went to school at what's now the Media Building. My parents moved away and moved back here when I was two. Um, and aside from going to college and um, some time about 15 years ago in New York City, I've lived here pretty much all my life. You They're can fun. step on it up to about here. <laughs> They're fun. It's drying really quick. Well, I remember when I was a kid, um, people just sort of put whatever um, down whatever drain and there was always it seemed like every year I don't know if this is actually true but it seemed like every year um, the duck pond turned orange and everybody always said oh it was the chemistry department put something down the drain and turn the duck pond orange um, and the fish would die and it was sort of you know disturbing as a little kid to see that happen and see it be kind of like you know, this is just sort of the way it is. Every once in a while, there's this bad pollution that moves down these streams. So I think just highlighting that we're all aware of what goes into the water now and that it's a little more important for people to kind of control that and not just take it as a given that every once in a while something really bad's gonna happen pollution-wise is, you know, is just something that sort of speaks to my experience personally, having been a kid and sort of seen the way it used to be. I'm painting these fish here, and they exist kind of downstream right now, but there was a time when this is what was here. Um, there was a time when there were streams all over Blacksburg, all over downtown Blacksburg, you know, open water flowing through town relatively recently, evenly. There's, there's pictures of, you know, streams on Draper Road, um, you know, the mill building downtown. This used to just be what it what all of Blacksburg was. I think that's a really interesting um, kind of thing to think about that this seems like it's something that's out in the woods somewhere now, but really it's directly underneath us all the time, even if it's covered over by a road or something.